in that second Andy Ruiz fight, every time Andy Ruiz actually managed to close the distance and get in range and managed to land his shots on Anthony Joshua, Joshua held on for dear life, all right? <laughs> he held on, and he was he got rocked a few times. Those very few times where he did get clipped. So there's no way in hell I see uh, AJ just walking down Deontay Wilder. All right, this is like the third time I'm attempting to make this video. Because technical difficulties difficulties man anyway let's get on with the video i came across this uh little uh thing here this little i guess you could call it a uh little article here and it was anthony joshua and in the article he says that when he fights deontay wilder he's gonna go for the knockout he says he's not going to allow deontay wilder to basically get comfortable and he says you could forget about me trying to outbox Wilder, okay? So he's claiming that he's going to not attempt to outbox Wilder, nothing like that. He's going to basically walk him down. The way he's saying it, or, or the way they've, they're, they're, you know, quoting him, it seems like he's basically implying that he's just going to walk Wilder down and just go for the KO. Now, I don't believe him. I don't believe that. And I don't believe anyone who tells me that, Anthony Joshua will, in fact, just walk Deontay Wilder down. And I'll explain to you why I don't believe it. First of all, let's just take a look at his last fight. All right? In his last fight, he fought a guy named Andy Ruiz Jr. And in that fight, he and his team had a game plan. And that game plan was stick and move. Stick and move. Never stand in front of Andy Ruiz Jr. And you know what? They stuck to that game plan the whole fight. Anthony Joshua stuck to that game plan the whole fight. He never st stood in front of Andy Ruiz Jr. for a long period of time. He would hit him and he would move immediately. You could tell that that was the game plan. Let's not give Andy Ruiz the opportunity to hit me. Now, why did they fight that style? You know, Joshua has always been a guy who's been known as an aggressive come forward heavyweight. But why did he change his style against Andy Ruiz Jr.? Because in the first fight, he got dropped five times. And him and his team understood that the only reason that happened was because he gave Andy Ruiz Jr. the opportunity by just standing in front of him like that. So how do you fix this problem? You don't stand in front of the guy, right? Now think about that. They told Anthony Joshua not to take any risks and to, uh, and, and to basically just fight a back foot game against Andy Ruiz Jr. for 12 rounds because they didn't want to risk him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with AJ with uh, Ruiz and getting himself hurt or knocked out again, right? <clears throat> so you expect me to believe that he's going to be willing to just go straight forward and not respect Deontay Wilder and just try, to, and try and go for the knockout the way he describes it the way he says he will do i don't believe it i think he's going to outbox or attempt to outbox deontay wilder i think that fight is going to be a very cautious fight i don't see deontay wilder versus anthony joshua being in an exciting fight even though a lot of people feel it will be but when you got a guy like joshua who has a suspect chin and you got a guy like deontay wilder who is a slow starter and a guy who depends on one punch that is a recipe for a fight being very cautious. I see Deontay Wilder being very cautious. I see Anthony Joshua being very cautious. And I don't think this fight's going to be exciting as or as exciting as people believe it is. It's going to be a fight between two cautious guys. Because there's no way, uh, you know, Rob McCracken was going to tell Anthony Joshua, yeah, yeah, just go in there, walk Deontay Wilder down, and knock him out. Don't show him no respect. It's not going to happen. Because if they were so worried about the Anthony Joshua's punch resistance against Andy Ruiz Jr., and that's why they fought back for a game, they're going to feel even more, you know, three times more worried, you know, trying to go forward and stay in the pocket against Deontay Wilder. It's not going to happen. I've always said this. I feel Deontay Wilder will lose against a boxer 
or against a guy who just simply catches him and knocks him out. And if I'm Anthony Joshua, I would rather, I think it would be beneficial for him if he just stood, he, he fought the back foot game. I think he would last longer if against Deontay Wilder if he fought that style as opposed to if he just tried to walk Wilder down. I think he's going to get himself knocked out because he has a suspect chin and he's not, you have to keep in mind, <clears throat> just, just as I told you earlier in this video, Andy Ruiz Jr., every time Andy Ruiz Jr. in the second fight managed to get close to Anthony Joshua and he managed to clip him, you saw Anthony Joshua hold on for, you know, for, you know, like he was about to like not get knocked the fuck out. He, like he was scared, all right? Every time he got hit by Andy Ruiz, he immediately hugged him. He immediately clinched him, okay? And he, he was like almost in a panic mode whenever he would get clipped by Andy Ruiz Jr. So those scars of him getting knocked the fuck down five times is still there because he would constantly hold and he got rocked several times in that fight all right so and that was when andy ruiz was able to get to him so i'm telling you right now deontay wilder i mean anthony joshua is not going to be standing in front of deontay Wilder. that's going to be a very cautious fight and i don't believe him or any of his fans who claim that that's going to be the case it's not going to happen you're going to see a cautious anthony joshua um, unless, you know, he's dumb and he thinks he's, he could just walk, you know, down Wilder without any respect, that's going to be an early night for Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is going to do a Dominic Brazil on him if, if he tries to just walk him down. Anyway, guys, so I have to say, man.